Sunday night was a historic night for basketball in Belize, and it all unfolded inside the Belize City Civic Center. We have some highlights for you all, courtesy of the National Channel and the International Basketball Federation. The starting whistle is blown and there is a tip to start off this third place game. Mexico takes control of the ball. Number 15 for Mexico with the drive and he is stopped by Douglas Longford. Elijah Favela with the ball. The ball is passed out to Ian Parham Jr. on the arc. Parham at the free throw line puts up the jump shot and makes it count. Favela is at the top of the free throw line. He jumps off the dribble and makes it look easy. Four minutes left in the first quarter with Belize up by four points. Favela finds Devin Moody under the basket. He misses the reverse layup, but Langford is right there to clean up. At the end of the first quarter, Mexico led the game 21 to 17 points. In the second quarter, Favela passes to Moody. Back to Favela. Ball to Langford who finds Michael Caceres under the basket for the easy layup. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in the half. Favela controls the ball. Longford gets it at the half-court mark. Back to Favela who tries to force the pass to Longford. Mexico reads the play, but an effort by Param gets the ball into Longford's hand for the dunk finish. Dawson to Moody at the three-point line. Moody with the drive and the finger roll to complete the play and make the basket. Going into the second half of the match, Mexico is ahead of Team Belize by three baskets. Dawson finds Moody at the three-point line once again. Moody goes in for the drive and makes it count. Seven minutes left in the third. Moody with the rock finds Favela who goes down low to Longford. He bullies his way in for the basket. With just over two minutes left in the third, Moody pushes the ball down the court. Finds Favela. Passes to Dawson across the court. Dawson with the drive to put Belize up by three points. Dawson again with the assist from Moody. He goes strong to the rim and it's good. At the top of the fourth quarter, it is Favela with the quick three-pointer and the foul, putting Belize up by double digits. With five minutes left in this one and Belize up by 20, Wilford Dawson goes up for the shot and it's good. Belize would go on to win the match 87 to Mexico's 72, securing a historic bronze medal. Belize's six-foot, nine-inch guard, Douglas Longford, was also named to the U-17 FIBA Central Basket All-Star 5. We, we were always the underdogs. You know, a lot of people, you know, rooted us not to win and tried to say that we didn't have talent. And for a team, you know, just coming together, playing the first scrimmage against Panama and making it this far, that's top notch. We never competed against no other team. We just scrimmaged against ourselves. So playing against other competitions, we didn't know what to expect. But the chemistry had, the love, the brotherhood, that's what brought us together and we executed. What uh, number of offers are you at right now? Uh, nine. Nine. I got my ninth one last night. Okay. You committed to anyone? Not yet. Not as yet. Not I haven't yet. made a decision. Well, firstly, my mom and my dad play basketball also, so we grew up around a family that loves bas basketball, sports in general. And you know, we, we live right by the complex in Orange Rock, so I go to the gym there almost every day with my friends, put up shots and get better. What does the future look like for you? I saw you having a bit of discussion over there on the phone, I think with the high school. What, what does it look like for you? What's your hope? Well, it, it, the future looks great. So it, we, we were talking to a school in Houston. Hopefully I get over there and play, you know. I think you can see it in my face. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's been a tough, a challenging time leading up to the tournament. Um, but to get on that podium, was it, it, all the hard work was worth it. Um, I think the guys are excited. Um, they performed well, they represented us well, and I'm just proud to, to be a Belizean right now. I think it's important to stress the fact that when you put young men on platforms such as these, they're exposed to unimaginable opportunities. What we have found is that since the tournament we have gotten a lot of calls um, from different schools who are interested in them, both high school and colleges, and this is what we want, right? We want to create opportunities to give our kids the exposure because we know once we do that, the doors will open for them and they'll do the rest. That's right, let them hear it. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.